Hello, my name is Noah Bradley, and I am a concept artist, illustrator, teacher, uh, writer, and a few other things. And I am here today to talk about the Surface Book. Um, I just picked one up recently. Uh, Microsoft just released it uh, just a couple weeks ago. And uh, I just want to talk about what it's like to use it as an artist. Um, there are a lot of reviews by a lot of really big technology companies uh, talking about the Surface Book, talking about what it's like, capabilities, all that sort of stuff, but very few from an artist's perspective. So I wanted to talk to my fellow illustrators, concept artists, anyone who's interested in drawing or painting on this thing, uh, what it's like. Um, so here it is. Uh, it feels great. It looks amazing. It's super lightweight. It's, it's a really, really nice, well-designed machine. Um, props to Microsoft for doing it. Um, it feels every bit as sleek and wonderful as a MacBook would feel. Um, so anyone coming from an Apple background will be super comfortable with this. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's just really nice. Uh, the hinge is weird, but it's super cool. Um, it's really functional. Um, keyboard feels amazing. Trackpad works great. Um, the new pen is a slight improvement. It's not as much of an improvement as I'd like. Um, I don't find them as substantial as like a Wacom pen, uh, but they do the job well enough uh, that I can feel comfortable painting on it. Uh, it feels a little bit better in my hand than the old Surface Pro 3 pen, so uh, I do prefer that. Um, uh, let's see here, what else are people interested in? Uh, lag, that is the main thing people are concerned about, lag. And I had issues when I first started with it and managed to get through it. Uh, there are some tiny tweaks that you need to do to be able to get it to work well without lag, and uh, I'll be sure to share those uh, in the description here and uh, elsewhere. Um, so be sure to check those out if you have one of these and immediately get frustrated because it's not working the way it should. Because uh, my general impression with the Surface so far is that it's a wonderful machine with really, really buggy software right now. Uh, it's really, 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 really buggy right now. Uh, the drivers are not working well. Um, the inboard uh, GPU is great, but the, the offboard one or whatever, the, the external GPU, the one that's in the base here, the super powerful like NVIDIA one that you buy the Surface Book for, doesn't work well right now. Um, Microsoft is supposed to fix these problems in like just a couple weeks, but right this second, they don't work well. Uh, to run Photoshop well, I have to turn off the NVIDIA card, which is really annoying. Um, so, um, as far as what it's like to actually physically work on, um, you can work on it comfortably like this. The screen locks out about right here. Um, there is a little bit of wobble, but honestly, if you're resting your hand on it, uh, I've never noticed much problem, and I'm not usually one to just work on a you know, laptop keyboard while I'm working on the laptop, but for me, it's actually comfortable enough that I can totally work that way. Um, so that's one way um, you can work. There's a few other positions that I think are great. Um, of course, you can do the old detaching the keyboard thing. Ooh, can't see. Um, this has been also fairly buggy and has caused my computer to crash many times. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've gotten four blue screens of death in one day from doing this. Um, my best advice for that is to make sure all the programs are closed before you detach the screen. Uh, there can be all sorts of problems if you don't do that. Again, buggy software. Um, so again, you can flip the screen around and reattach. It's this weird little clicky thing, and it's all good now. And so this is what Microsoft calls the draw mode, which is where it's flipped in on itself. If you lay it flat on a table, it, it's basically flat. Some people will probably enjoy that. You know, it's kind of like drawing a piece of paper, but I always find myself like super hunched over if I ever do that. Um, so for me, I've always been finding things to prop it up with, whether it's a book or something like that. Um, and for me, uh, I use a lot of keyboard shortcuts. I'm sure a lot of you do too. Um, so I always keep a keyboard off to the side, just like you can either plug it in a USB one or use a Bluetooth one, uh, but definitely use a keyboard of some sort. The other way that nobody else shows because nobody else would bother doing it um, is the tent mode. So, you can actually do it like this, and it'll lock out at about this point. There's a little bounce to it, but it actually makes it a pretty decent 
angle for drawing on. Uh, I, was, I was fairly impressed with that. Um, so this is another way that I'll draw. It takes up a lot of desk space because it's so like long, um, but it's actually a fairly stable surface and uh, I've had a great time drawing on it like this. Um, so that's another way that I will uh, work on this. Uh, what else do people want to know? Um, Performance-wise, it runs great. I've been working on like huge Photoshop files, a bunch of layers. The thing runs like a champ. I've had no problems with performance whatsoever. Um, my machines for the last uh, two years almost um, have been the Cintiq Companion here, which died. God rest his soul. Um, and the Surface Pro 3 here. And uh, this has been my machine for about a year solid now. Um, so coming from this, I'm really, really comfortable on this. Um, uh, I've never had any problems working on the Surface Pro 3. It's a little bit tight screen-wise, but aside from that, it's been a really good machine. Um, I'm really confident that this is also going to be a great machine once Microsoft sorts out some software bugs. Um, there are bugs with it, and it is annoying. And uh, I really wish they had released a slightly more polished product, um, because again, the hardware is fantastic. The screen on it is beautiful. Uh, it's super, super, super high resolution, and the colors are fantastic. So anyone doing art on this thing is going to be thrilled with it. It's also notably a lot brighter than the Surface Pro 3, um, which I found really, really handy, because I found the Surface Pro 3 could be a little bit dark, uh, whereas the book here is really, really bright, uh, almost too bright a lot of times. Um, so I think that about covers it. Um, it's a really, really nice machine uh, with some really annoying bugs that hopefully Microsoft is going to sort out. Odds are two weeks from now, I will totally have a great review for this. I will say that this is the best thing ever, but right this second, there have been a lot of annoying bugs that we've had to sort out. And uh, I'll do my best to tell you all the little things that you can change to make this thing run great. But you have to be aware, if you're going to grab one of these, that they do exist. Um, so how does it stack up against something like a Companion or a Cintiq or something like that? <clears throat> What's the pressure like? All that kind of stuff. Uh, I think it works great. The pressure sensitivity is spot on. You can adjust the curve a little bit and get that pressure right where you want it. So I find it great. Uh, a lot of people complain about the wobbliness of the lines. Realistically, the only time you're going to notice that is if you draw really slow. Um, so for me, it's not personally an issue. If you're an artist focused on line work, you might notice some problems, but there's of course the software Lazy Nozumi or whatever, and uh, it'll smooth out your lines a little bit. Even just that subtle smoothing is more than enough to take care of any problems the book might have. Um, a lot of people know that the Surface Pro 3 is, they switched the entry drivers or whatever, and uh, there's a bit of inherent lag um, perceptively uh, on the pen. Um, that lag is way, way, way less now. Uh, it's, they've vastly improved it. Um, the cursor feels really, really tight. Uh, it sticks to your uh, stylus really well. And uh, there's also really, really thin screen. So there's not a lot of gap there between where you're putting the pen and where you're actually putting the mark. Um, so they've done, they've done a phenomenal job. I honestly think that it stacks up really well against something like a Cindique or a Companion or anything like that. Um, I think it's great. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's probably going to be my machine for at least the next year, um, and it will be my only machine for the next year. So I'm super psyched about it. It's great. I love that there's an extra USB port finally, uh, so I can actually plug in some other stuff. Um, it's, it's really nice. Uh, one minor complaint, um, the power cord, the new power cord. Um, I still love how there's a USB port in the power cord the hub. Problem is, they made this thing even shorter than it was before. Uh, I can actually be sitting at a desk with my surface and plug it into an outlet right behind me and it's too short. Uh, it's, it's insane. I don't know who thought that a power cord this short is actually a good idea, but it's insane. Uh, don't do that. Um, so I'm going to have to get an extension cord just for my power cable, just so I can use it like a normal person. So that's annoying, but you know, there's, there's worse things in life. Um, so I think that about wraps it up. I think it's a great machine. I think it's a great step in the right direction for Microsoft. I think once they sort out all these software bugs, uh, we're going to have a phenomenal painting machine here. So uh, check it out. Uh, try one out if you can. And uh, thanks for watching.